Randall? He was probably the last person Lyra expected to see there. She had only a vague notion of where New York was, but if that's really where she ended up, she would be hundreds of miles away from Des Moines. What are you doing out here, Lyra? You've heard about what's going on, right? This isn't Des Moines. Are uh, you okay? I know people have been getting a little weird lately, but are you feeling alright? Weird? Weird how? Well, there was my cousin. I was staying with him, but you really don't look too good. It's fine. I guess you could say it's been a rough day, but it's fine. It'll all be over soon. Is this New York? You didn't know that? Well, no. What are you doing here? Like I was saying, I've got a cousin out here. Said he knew some people out here. I might be able to take the band farther. And then he started getting weird just earlier today. Started yelling at me, said that I was trying to take advantage of him. I was out for a walk to see Eve cool off later, and that's when stuff really started getting weird. Maybe I'm the one who's going crazy. No, it's not that. But your cousin, he's not usually like that, is he? No, he's usually pretty cool. I don't know what got into him. It's just like last time. What time? It'll be fine! If you think so. Some people are saying it's the end of the world. I don't know, I was thinking there would be more fire and demons rising up out of the ground. Earlier I saw some street lamps that turned into peppermint, like actual candy. <laughs> That'll happen. You've seen it too, huh? Well, I guess everyone has. Yeah. You know, it wasn't until after you had left town that it really hit me. You're Lyra Michalakos. I mean, y you really must have hit it big when you got back home. Yeah, it's been pretty good. <laughs> Eh, we had another guitarist for a while, but he just wasn't as good. Didn't show up to practice, didn't seem serious about it. If you wanted to, Lyra. Lyra! Finally! I've been looking all over for you! All these humans look the same! Good thing your mane stands out so well, huh? Dash! What's going on? Wait, did you- See, that's the problem. The elements weren't any good against him. He was too strong! What?! Uh, Lyra, there's a flying horse talking to you. Do you know this human? Yeah, we were in a band together back in Des Moines, but... What were you saying about Discord? The elements had to work! They had to! The other said I should go ahead and try to find you. We need to get back to Equestria, and fast! I've seen some pretty insane things before, but this probably takes it. Lyra, you realize that's not normal, right? Yeah, I like to see what you humans consider normal. I can't wait to get out of this place. There's just no room to fly with all these buildings everywhere. Randall, this... this is Rainbow Dash. She's a friend from back home. I thought you were from Pennsylvania. Well, yes, but... <laughs> I've already explained this enough times today! Rainbow Dash, I don't care what you do, but we need to stop Discord. There has to be some other way! The elements weren't at full power. If they didn't stop him, I don't know what would. I don't know, but we'll come up with something. Like what? Look, Twilight just told me to find you so that we can go back and report to the princess. I'm gonna go find her, so don't go anywhere. Got that? So, what was that about? It's a long story, but all this chaos is caused by someone called Discord. He's trying to, well, drive humans to extinction. Again. That's another long story. Rainbow Dash and the other ponies were supposed to stop him. I can't believe it didn't work. You're friends with talking horses? I used to be one, kind of. It's the end of the world, and talking horses are going to save us. Well, I guess that's not the strangest thing I've heard today. Good. I don't feel like explaining it again. That seemed to be the end of the matter for now. Randall just couldn't think of anything else to say. He ran his fingers through his scraggly hair. Nothing except for a bright yellow car walking past underneath the bunches of bananas that had probably once been spotlights. The others were just going to give up on humans and let this happen. Lyra couldn't believe it. Of course, they didn't know any humans here. She just couldn't let this happen to her friends. Her family. Humans were good. Or at least a lot of them were. And Lyra couldn't let that go so easily. It was a few minutes before the others showed up. Rainbow Dash leading the way. There's more of them. Lyra, I'm sorry, but I couldn't do anything. I heard everything. Lyra, I really am sorry, but you have to let us go back. You have your necklace, right? Lyra's hand reached into her pocket for the necklace. Then she stopped. No! 
You need to find another way! There has to be something we can do! The only other time the elements didn't work was when we weren't, well, ourselves. They should have worked here, but they didn't. I can't believe it myself, but we just weren't enough to stop him this time. You heard what Princess Celestia said before we came here. Discord draws too much power from humans. And here he is, in a world with tons of them all giving him power. That's just it, isn't it? What is? I'm gonna need to borrow your necklaces and your crown. What? Borrow them? What are you talking about? The elements of harmony. I'm gonna need them for a little bit. Lyra, do you even know what you're saying? You can't just borrow the elements of harmony. In the time I've been human, I've made some friends who are just as good as any pony I've ever met. If humans are giving Discord his power, then we can take it away. Um, what exactly is going on? You'll help me, right? I mean, we can't do it unless we have everyone. How quickly do you think Audrey could get here? Nathan, too! Those kids you were staying with back in Des Moines? Yeah! That'll be a while. They shut down the airport, at least the ones around New York, and I still don't know what's going on here. They could still drive, right? I guess, but what do we need them for? We'll need six of us. I think I can get this to work. Yes! If we can just get everybody together. I've got some phone calls I need to make. Not just any pony can pick up the elements of harmony. These are very powerful magical artifacts that- You use them after you've known each other for a day. Well, yes, but still, you're, you're a human. You can't even use basic magic. Lyra, I understand why you wouldn't want to leave this place, but we don't have any choice now, do we? And do what? Just wait for Discord to finish up here and follow us back to Equestria? We've got one more shot at this. We need to try. Twilight exchanged a glance with the others. Uh, Twa, I think you understand how the elements work better than any of us. I'm leaving this one up to you. Well, fine, but we have to stay here. What? what I really don't want to stay here much longer. Actually, I want to leave right now. Well, we can't just give the elements to the humans and leave. This better not take too long. We're staying here while Discord got all of his kooky stuff going on? This'll be fun! Actually, when you put it that way... Randall, do you have a car here? The big one we moved all that band equipment in? Well, yeah, if it hasn't sprouted wings and flown away. Great. We'll go back to Philadelphia for a while. I think it'd be dangerous to stay around here much longer. Paul and Monica are there anyway. I think we'll need them. And we're taking your friends here? Of course. They've usually got trailers for moving around horses. I don't have one of those. They aren't like horses from our world. It'll be fine. It might be a tight fit, though. What do you mean, horses? But where are we going? Lyra was reminded of something that happened months ago. Strapping herself into the front of Nathan's car and nearly having a heart attack when they started rolling backwards into the street. This time, they wouldn't even have the benefit of seat belts. This'll be our first time in a car. Just sit back and try not to panic too much. Toward the end of the school day, a few mentions had been going around about weird stuff happening on the East Coast. Mostly New York, but some surrounding areas too. Audrey hadn't thought much of it at the time. It had sounded like a joke. It was later in the evening now, and she'd been in front of the computer looking at updates and photographs for a few hours. New posts seemed to keep on appearing as soon as she finished reading one. It was all over the place. This particular photo was showing a section of the street that had turned into rolling hills, swooping up and down like a roller coaster. The pharmacy and the department store behind it seemed unaffected. She zoomed in, leaned close into the screen, and squinted. It didn't seem edited, though she was no expert. Hello? You've seen this, right? The stuff over in New York? Yeah, whatever it is. She read what the photographer said about the image, that the formation in the street had just appeared suddenly, as solid as if it had always been like that. It was possible to drive over it, provided nothing had happened to your car. Some vehicles had been affected by whatever it was, anything from turning plaid to suddenly coming alive. I was thinking it was a hoax, you know, some elaborate prank, but I don't know. It's coming up on CNN and stuff too. I I don't think they'd be able to hack all the major news networks. Audrey clicked the link to some other photos. 
a message board where people were raising a lot of questions she herself was wondering. It's all kind of... cartoony. I'm still not sure I'm convinced, but you've got to admit, it's starting to look like it's for real. I hate to admit it, but yeah. One poster on this board was raising their doubts. Photoshop, mass fake accounts were all run by a few people, and of course hacking. They weren't the only ones to think that way, but it was seeming more and more like a desperate attempt to deny what was right in front of them. And did you see those pictures in Times Square? <laughs> Which ones? The billboards that came to life, or the flying hot dog stands? No, 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 these are the new ones. The herd of unicorns. A bunch of people had pictures of them. Unicorns? Nope, I uh, haven't seen that yet. Yeah, all different colors. A, a couple were flying. Uh, people only started mentioning them about half an hour ago, but there's dozens of photos. She typed in the phrase Times Square Unicorn into the search bar and looked at images. Sure enough, there were plenty of different photos. If it had been photoshopped, it probably would have taken someone a lot of time and effort. I'm just not sure what to make of it. I've heard some people are heading out there to see it for themselves. Photographers, mostly, but also just some sightseers. Wait a minute. Audrey clicked one of the images, zoomed in. The herd of whatever they were was in the distance, but there was a person standing in the midst of them. What? She wasn't lying. Huh? It's crazy! I, I told her she was crazy! What are you talking about? Lyra! Back when we found her parents, I told her I needed to know where she came from, and... Well, she told me. What does Lyra have to do with any of this? I mean, she was pretty strange, but all of this is on a whole different level than that. Lyra insisted that she used to be a unicorn. I don't remember everything, but her story was pretty detailed. Something about turning into a human, but she's in these pictures, and I think she has something to do with all of what's going on over there. Wow. I mean, really wow. I wondered if this was some kind of bizarre alien invasion. I mean, that idea's been tossed around online a bit. And you made first contact, Audrey! Heck, you let her stay at your house! I wish I remembered what she told me. I mean, it sounded crazy. It still does. Coming from Lyra, I'm not too surprised. She always was kind of odd. Audrey, it's for you. It's Lyra. Huh? She said it was important. Listen, Nathan, I'm gonna have to call you back. Wait, what? She closed it and put it on the desk. Then she stood up and took the phone from her mother. She lifted it to her ear slowly. It was the perfect opportunity to find out what was happening, but she had no idea what to say. Audrey! Uh, hey, Lyra. Good. I tried to reach your cell phone, but it didn't work. Listen, I need you to come to my house as soon as possible. It's really important. What are you doing? It's a phone. I'll explain later, all right? Sorry about that, Audrey. What's this all about? Was that you in New York? How did you know I was there? There were pictures of you on the internet with these unicorns. You weren't making that up when you told me, were you? No, I wasn't. I tried to tell you, but listen, it really is important that you get to Philadelphia right now. Right now? You do realize how far that is, right? And on top of that, it's a school night. I, I can't just go halfway across the country. I made it here in half a day last time. What's the problem? You flew. We booked it days in advance. I could try that, but even then it would be... That'd take too long. Uh, look, the entire survival of the human species is at risk here. I need you and Nathan here now. The survival of the human race? Yes. This has something to do with everything that's been going on in New York today doesn't it? That's just the beginning, but you'll come, right? <sighs> I'll see what I can do, but you're halfway across the country. We'll deal with that. When do you think you can get here? She went through the options in her head. Flying on such short notice would be impossible. I don't have my license, though even if I set out on the road now, it would take, what, an entire day or two? Not to mention having to explain this to my parents. They'd seen what was happening on the news, but had just shrugged it off. I don't suppose you or your friends have any magic that would help here, would you? No. 
Twilight says it's way too far to teleport! I don't know then. Like, two days? That might even be generous. Seriously? Look, I don't know how people get around where you're from, but this is a long trip. <sighs> you're right. Cars are a lot faster than equestrian transportation. Just hurry, all right? Sure, I'll see what... The line went dead. Lyra must have hung up already. Audrey set down the phone, leaned back, and ran her fingers through her hair. I always knew Lyra wasn't quite normal. The way she'd acted that first day, for the entire duration of her stay afterwards. She wasn't exactly human, was she? But as for what to do now, it sounded important. For whatever reason, Lyra had chosen me to do something. Maybe that's why she came to this world. Even thinking about this world, as if there really is some magical land beyond it, sounds ridiculous. What exactly does Lyra expect me to do here? And why can't she have found someone else closer? Lyra had also mentioned Nathan. It might be good to call him, figure out what to do. Hello? So... I just got a call from Lyra. Interesting story. She just called me, too. Um, what are you gonna do? Well, first of all, I thought the end of the world wasn't for a couple more months. Seriously, Nathan. All right, all right. Well, I'm heading out to the car now. I'll swing by your place in a few minutes. Pack some snacks if you want them. There's a long drive ahead of us. You just leaving? She said it was urgent. You know how long it's gonna take to get out there, right? I told you to pack something to eat. Are you okay with driving part of the way? It'll count towards getting your license, you know? And your parents will be happy about that. Besides, this is a once in a lifetime chance. Something weird is going on out there and we're involved. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Sure, maybe it is. All right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Lyra sat in the front seat next to Randall, staring at the road in front of her. It was a highway. She'd never actually driven on one, though it seemed like the kind of first place she'd seen in the human world. They passed a sign that said Philadelphia. They'd be home soon. Are you done talking to yourself yet, Lyra? I told you! I was talking to my friends in Des Moines! That's what phones let humans do! So when can they get here? It seems like human transportation is as fast as you promised. I'm amazed this is possible! The talking purple unicorn in the back seat is impressed that I can drive at 6 miles an hour. Because that's weird. It is if you're from Equestria. Anyway, Audrey said maybe two days? Two days?! Ugh. This morning, I didn't even know what humans were, and now I'm stuck here for the next two days? Am I the only one who's ever heard of them? Bon Bon's always talking about them at Sugar Cube Corner. She does? Well, she talks about you always talking about them, but that means she's talking about humans, kinda. Two days seems like a mighty long time to wait around. You sure you still want to try this, Lyra? Sure, we'll just wait at my house for a while. At least my sister will be excited to meet all of you.